Hey everyone, it's Josh here. In today's software tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you everything there is to know to get started setting up Instagram ads using the Instagram Ads Manager. Now, many people think that because Instagram is also owned by Facebook slash Meta, that all the ads are created in the same spot. And while this is true to a certain extent, there are several nuances in setting up Instagram ads that you might not be aware of. So today I'm gonna to be covering everything from starting your first campaign, setting up your very first set of Instagram ads, and most importantly, getting you more comfortable with the platform so that you can start creating some killer ads. So without further ado, let's Let's jump right into it, showing you everything there is to know about Instagram Ads Manager. So right here, we're starting out on the Instagram Ads page. Now, while Instagram looks like it is a separate platform from Facebook, both of them use Meta Business Suite to manage and actually store the information regarding your analytics, running your ads, your campaigns, all of that sweet information. And if you haven't seen our Facebook ads tutorial, I highly encourage you to go check that out as well because it also provides more in-depth information on that side of the platform. But today, we're strictly gonna be focusing on the Instagram side. So typically, you would get started here by hitting this create an ad button in the top right-hand corner. But for Instagram, there are a couple prerequisites you're gonna to have to do first. The first prerequisite to actually getting started with your Instagram ads is making sure that you either have a creator account or a professional account for Instagram. If you have an Instagram personal account, you are going to encounter some errors when you actually try and go and create these ads. So all you need to do is log into Instagram on either desktop or mobile, navigate to the account type and tools section here, and simply hit this button that says switch to professional account. That will make it so that you can actually go ahead and start creating ads on Instagram. Secondly, you're going to need to set up a Facebook page for the Instagram ads that you're gonna be running. Well, that kind of sounds counterintuitive, right? You need to set something up on Facebook to get Instagram working, but it is true. And all you need to do is go on to your Facebook account that you've already got linked, ideally through Instagram, and just go and create your first set of pages. So in this case, if I said, this is a digit page, and then we'll say category, and we'll say just maybe technology, and we'll say this is a test page. And we'll, we'll just go ahead and create this page here. And now that we've got this page created, we're actually gonna be able to navigate to the Meta Business Suite where we can actually start creating our first set of Instagram ads. So at this stage, you should have a couple things already done. Firstly, you have an Instagram account that is either a creator account or a professional account, so you can actually start creating ads. If you haven't done this already, it's gonna be impossible to go ahead and create ads going forward, so make sure this is done. Secondly, if you've got the branding already done for the ads that you're gonna be creating, great. But you most importantly have to have a Facebook page set up as well to actually get ads going on Instagram. Aside from just doing it in the app, you need to have something that is linked to Facebook directly, and this is the way to do it. So if you've got both an Instagram professional or creator account and a Facebook page set up for the ads that you're gonna be running, you're ready to move on to the next step. And that brings us to the Meta Business Suite or Facebook Ads Manager. So all we have to do to get started here is from our campaigns tab here with a new campaign that I'm about to create, hit this create button. We can hit create campaign and it's either awareness campaign or you know, if we actually wanna create a new campaign entirely, new ad set or ad, we can just click on either of those. So in our case, we're gonna go ahead and create a new campaign from scratch. We'll say you know, new awareness campaign and we'll say create ad set and name the ad set and we'll say Instagram ads. And for ads, we'll, we'll say Instagram ad one. We'll hit continue here. And we'll go ahead and create that campaign. Now there's gonna be a couple things that pop up on the screen. So we're gonna mainly focus on the right hand side. We can see that the Instagram ads is what our ad set name is and our performance goal is what we need to set next. Now when it comes to creating your Instagram ads, the most important thing of any campaign is knowing why you're doing it. Are you trying to get the most conversions off of something that you're promoting? Are you trying to drive the most traffic to a website or some other resource that you want users to click on? In this case, Facebook and Instagram are gonna show your ads differently depending on what your outcome for the campaign ideally is. So we can see the different options here like maximum reach of ads, maximum number of impressions, maximum two second continuous video views. While there are a whole bunch of different options here, we're going to choose maximize reach of ads, trying to show our ads to as many people as physically possible. So we'll click on that. We'll choose the Facebook page that I just generically set up here and we'll choose the cost per result goal, which is optional. Meta will aim to spend your entire budget and get the most 1,000 impressions using the highest volume bid strategy. Now this is gonna differ depending on what you're actually choosing as your performance goal, but for us, we're just gonna leave this as blank for now. And if we wanna see some advanced details, we can click more, seeing what the frequency cap is, when we get charged, and what the delivery type is. But if this is your first set of Instagram ads, you don't really need to worry about this at the moment. Scrolling down, we can choose the dynamic creative, providing creative elements such as images and headlines, and Meta will automatically generate combinations optimized for your audience. Typically, this is only gonna be for beginners or people who really don't know what they're doing. In our case, we're trying to create a killer ad, so we're just gonna leave this off for the moment. Now, as we get to the budget and the schedule here, we can see that on the right 
left-hand side of the screen, the audience definition is fairly broad. Ideally, we wanna strike a chord somewhere in the middle. If we make our ads too specific, there's not gonna be enough people that are gonna be interested in them to actually see them. Alternatively, if we show our ad to a large number of people, we're gonna be showing a lot of people our ad, but most of them are probably not gonna be interested in whatever we're showing. And below that, we can see the estimated audience size right now is somewhere between 29 million and 34.2 million. Wow, this is pretty cool. But if we choose our daily budget here and we can spend an average of $5 a day, let's say we're just gonna do $20 a day for instance, and we'll see what our average spend is. We'll set our start date. We also have the option here to actually go ahead and set an end date, but we won't do that in this case. We have our budget scheduling, schedule budget increases in advance based on certain days or times where our ads are more popular and choosing when to actually run the ads. If, for example, we only wanna run our ads on one particular day of the week, we can do that. In our case, we're not gonna do that, but you have the option to do that. We can see our audience controls for what locations we actually wanna be showing our ads, what our Advantage Plus audience is, and this is where the ad technology automatically finds our audience. And if we share an audience suggestion with, say, another audience, it, Meta and Instagram will automatically show our ad to that similar audience. In our case, we won't do that for the moment. And then for placements, it's pretty much the same thing. All right, now that we've got everything about our campaign defined, name, what our goal with the campaign is, what our budget is, and how long it's gonna be running for, we can go ahead and create our very first ad. All we have to do is navigate over here, just under that Instagram ads campaign name that we saw, and hit Instagram ad one, which as you'll remember is what we named it earlier. If we click on that, we can see that the ad name is Instagram ad one. And we also have the opportunity to run a partnership ad with creators, brands, and other businesses. We're gonna leave this off for now. Moving on to the identity tab here, we can see the Facebook page is automatically locked in from our campaign, and we have the opportunity to choose the Instagram account we wanna be showing our ads on. In the ad setup here, we can choose create ad, use existing post, or use creative hub mockup. Now, this is a very important thing because when you're actually going and creating posts on Instagram, there are two main types of ads you're actually gonna be creating. One of them is called a boosted post and the other one is called a dark post. Now, boosted posts are just organic posts that you would have already created on Instagram and published and want to give an advertising budget to show it to more people. So you've published it, you know, maybe you've got followers and they've liked it, et cetera, et cetera, and now you just wanna show it to even more people, so you wanna put it on an advertising budget. Well, that would be considered a boosted post. And if we select use existing post, that is exactly what we would get. On the other hand, of course, is a dark post, which is a post that is only meant to exist as an ad. Once the post and effectively the advertising campaign finishes running, the post ceases to exist. Your followers aren't gonna see it anymore, it's not gonna be available on your profile, and it will simply cease to exist. Now, depending on your specific goals for your campaign, you're either gonna have the option to choose a boosted post or a dark post. So really just make the option that is the smartest for what your campaign's goals are. So in our case, we're not gonna choose a boosted post, we're just gonna say create ad from scratch. And we're gonna create a single image or video. We've got this you know, little template one I've set up here. Welcome to Business Outfits, the ultimate destination for men's business fashion, for example. We can see how it looks in feeds, and this is Facebook feed right now, but we can choose Instagram feed, see what that looks like, what that looks like on Instagram stories, You know, if we choose to publish it there. In stream ads for videos and reels on Instagram search results. Now, Instagram search results, you know, look something like this, and then different other apps and sites. So we can see the different options for how our ad will actually look on these platforms. A very important part of this tutorial is making sure that you've actually selected Instagram as the only platform that you're actually going to be showing your ads on. So now we're back in the campaign view here. We're going to go down to the placements tab. And if you don't have this screen exactly, you might have to hit edit. Um, but eventually, if you go into the placements tab and hit edit, adjust, etc. You will find this opportunity to swap from Advantage Plus placements, which is recommended, which is basically to show your ads everywhere across Facebook, Instagram, and all, to actually just the manual placements. And if we click on that and scroll down, we can now see we have the opportunity to choose what devices we want the ads to run on, and we can unselect Facebook audience network so that we're just showing Instagram ads. Now, if we navigate back over to our Instagram ad here, we can see that our ad setup is only gonna be put in six places. Instagram feed, explore, home, ads on Instagram reels, profile, etc. That is exactly what we want because obviously you don't accidentally wanna be showing ads on Facebook if you really only want things to be shown on Instagram. Now, this is a key thing that might get missed, so it's very important for you to actually make sure that only Instagram is selected in your campaign so that when you're actually creating your ads, only Instagram is what is gonna be shown for these placements.
So now that you've got that set up, we're gonna move on to our final step for creating our ad. Now at this point, this is where we're actually gonna be setting up the creative for our ad. So, you know, things like what the actual media is gonna look like. And in this case, I've selected this image and we've got some text saying, welcome to business outfits, the ultimate destination for men's business fashion. And Meta AI is gonna give us some adjustments that it thinks we should make. And then next on that, you could actually select the destination where you're gonna send people immediately after they tap on your ad, assuming that you don't want them to go directly to your Instagram page and instead want them to go to some external site. In our case, we're just not gonna select that. We're gonna uncheck add a destination so that if somebody clicks on our ad, they get taken to our Instagram profile. And finally down here, tracking. Track event data sets that contain the conversions your ad might motivate. The data set that contains the conversion selected for the ad account will be tracked by default. Now tracking is important because it's actually gonna show the impressions, meaning that how many people are actually seeing your ad, the quote unquote views, which is when somebody actually stays on your ad for more than a couple seconds or, you know, they stop on it, for instance, and the actual click through where somebody goes and clicks on your ad. These things are all going to be available in what you would typically see under your campaign view. So if you're all good to go and you've got things set up, all you need to do here is hit the publish button. Now for me, if I hit publish here, it would immediately publish this. But for you, it's going to be a little bit different because if you hit publish here, I guarantee you, it's going to ask you for two things. It's going to ask you for a payment method so that you can actually pay for the ads and also your business information needed for tax purposes. So if you hit the publish tab here, enter your payment details and your business information, you're going to be all ready to go to get your ads up and running. And just like we did in our Facebook ads tutorial, all you need to do to get back to your campaign view is go over here and hit campaigns or for us if we just hit this x box here and we say publish draft items we're going to say uh nope we're just not going to publish those for the moment now on the campaigns page here we can actually see all those juicy details related to our ad whether it is on facebook or instagram we can see things like our ad name what its delivery is what its ad set name is the actions bid strategy budget all the way over to our results, impressions, cost per results, amount spent. Everything you need to know about how well your Instagram ads are performing can be found right here. Now that our Instagram ads are nearly ready to go, let's quickly recap over everything we've gone over in this video. First, the prerequisites. You've got an Instagram professional or creator account and you've got a Facebook page linked to that account. Next, we went over exactly how to create your first Instagram ad through the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager, making sure that we've selected only Instagram as the platform that we're gonna be showing our ads on, and how to set up a daily budget, set up your creatives with your text and images, etc., and setting exactly when you want your ads to run. And of course, making sure that you've got it under a campaign that has the right performance goals for what you're trying to achieve with your ads. If you're trying to get the most conversions, that's gonna look different than if you're trying to show it to as many people as possible. So again, making sure that you've got ideal campaign goals that align with what you wanna achieve with your ads is always a must. And there you go, you've set up your first set of Instagram ads. Now, ideally at this stage, you would have gotten a little bit more comfortable with the Facebook ads manager and know how to set up specifically Instagram ads through it. If you want a little bit more information about how to use it, I highly encourage you to go check out our Facebook ads manager tutorial because that also covers all the things that we went over in this video and gives you a little bit more comprehension on that side of the platform. Hopefully I got you more comfortable with using the Facebook ads manager to create Instagram ads and understanding a little bit more between the differences between a boosted post on Instagram and a dark post on Instagram. With that being said, I hope you go out there and create some absolutely killer ad campaigns. My name is Josh Mountain and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.